Hello everyone, this is Lord Cucumber. Okay, so this video is sort of going to be a first look slash early review of Endless Space 2. Um, now, I was a huge fan of the first Endless Space. I played it with uh, friends in multiplayer many, many times. I played it in single player. I did all kinds of experiments with it, including a, a multi-camera setup in... Um, in our old channel, the Lords of the Greenleaf channel, and I was really, yeah, I was. You could sim simply say I was really into the game. I loved the look, I loved the feel, I loved the expansions and the options. Uh, there were obviously things I didn't like about the game. It was sort of crash she whenever I tried to mix it with recording software from time to time. So that that was a bit of a, a unfortunate. But other than that, uh, when it first released. Um, it was a really, really cool, smooth game, even though it had its flaws and sometimes bugs. Um, and, and, and it stayed that way for over the years. I think the only thing that topped it for me in certain departments, not all, um, especially the exploration department, I should say, would, would be Stellaris. And also the, the, the way it, it visually feels is pretty much on par with, with Stellaris for me. It's, it, I love the way it looks. Now... Does that carry over to part two? Well, first things first, I have to admit, this is a very early alpha build um, of the new End the Space game, End the Space 2. It, it says so. It's a, Basically, it's early access on, on Steam. And I guess that brings me to my, my first and probably biggest gripe uh, with regards to the new title. I, I, I've been looking forward to End the Space 2 for, like, years now. Uh, since, ever since it was uh, was conceived, uh, the idea of doing a, a part two and, and, and things, I was like, like, well, yes, please do and make f improvements to what you already have. And it's prob probably because it's in early access, but it feels like they've tried to do that uh, by simplifying things, by taking stuff out, or rather, you know, compressing them into smaller parts or whatever um, so it's not as bulky as endless was endless had a lot of things you could do and they tried to reduce that a little bit in this particular game um, but it's not as spectacular as I expected it to be now that as, as said that may very well be because it's still in early access um, so I, I shouldn't judge that too harshly um, but yeah the overall feel of smoothness that you got in endless space it was a very round up, rounded off product even when it was first launched with bugs and everything you didn't really I don't know I didn't really feel negative towards that because it was already a pretty good game kind of like Stellaris Stellaris also had its flaws but it, you know they're working on it they're building up and they're and I guess um, uh, Sega, which is the publisher for uh, for this game, sort of wanted to go for that. I'm hoping for that. Um, but it doesn't feel that way yet. It doesn't feel that way yet. So that's, that's sort of... I, I have to say that in advance. But there's there's this couple of details in, in, this, in this particular version that are just absolutely stunning. If you had been paying attention to my screen, especially the middle of the screen, look at the sun. Then look to the planets around that sun. So you see this little dot here, that's like the, the white dwarf, the Pisces star system, where, where I have my, my colony. I'm playing the Sofons. Right now you can play five uh, races uh, of, the, um, of the intended, um, I, don't know, I guess 12, something like that. Um, and as you can see, those planets around that sun are actually revolving it as you look at this map. I think that's a really neat feature. And I mean, you can you can zoom into that, and they actually become slightly bigger. And you can zoom into that even more. And then you get, well, they sort of rotate back into their original position. But then you can see, there we are, all of the planets in, in beautiful detail. You can even zoom to the planets. I can even zoom some more. There we go. Look at that. Zoom. And, well, it looks 
pretty damn stunning. I, I really do like that. Um, one thing that I'm kind of confused about, you used to have something you could do on each planet individually. I Maybe I'm looking, looking at the wrong screen, but it's gone. So that's one of the simplifications. Not necessarily my preference, but all right, you know, that's fine. You can only do like uh, sort of the whole network upgrades and no longer the planet upgrades. At least that's what it looks like. That is what it looks like. And I'm not sure what these are yet. Um, okay. Apparently these are people that also live here. The Haroshims. Haroshims. Um, apparently share my home planet with them. That's an interesting idea. You can have your population <coughs> segmented into several people. And it actually says on the tab what population it is. And these guys look really cool, by the way. I like the artwork. Look at that with the respirator. They remind me of that. Um, there was this race in Mass Effect. And they kind of remind me of that. I'm, I'm, I'm lost for the name. Maybe you can leave a comment and tell me. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> As you can see from... Right from this screen, you can see whether or, so whether or not something is colonizable or not with your current tech. That's all really cool. And obviously the artwork is uh, fully 3D and 3D rendered. Uh, we have a hero here who is my governor. And yeah, that's all That's all really good. I'm just going to zoom out. Um, there is no more button. Or as far as I can see. Um, there, the, there, The escape button I'm so used to going out of screens with the escape button is only for the menu look if I do this I get the game menu that, that's what I get that's what I get that's all I get and it's like kind of like uh, why <laughs> not that it's, it's I, mean, I mean but I have a feeling that that's gonna annoy me for a couple of uh, more years in this game it's it's just a you the UI isn't as uh, smooth as the first game. The first game had a really good UI in my opinion. I, Even though it was clogged with all kinds of details, it was pretty solid. You could pretty much find whatever you were doing uh, if you got used to it. And I guess this takes some getting used to. And um, this is the UI with regards to everything you need with regards to diplomacy. This is uh, sort of where you stand with people. Um, this is, uh, or rather this is, I think this is a government screen. Yeah, victory and performance. Fantastic. I'm fourth and fifth in the military and score department. And the rest are disabled <coughs> for dispersion. Again, early access. Um, here we are. We have political parties. They're kind of trying to try to go for um, the Stellaris field there. That's fine. I think that's that's really interesting. The Senate. I have a sort of republic, apparently a scientific republic, which is cool. I like that idea. There's no, I can activate a law. Let's vote on a law. Why the hell not? All oh, probes for all. 50% probe recovery rate on ships. You have probes on ships that you can actually use to scout on planets and find stuff, and that's all nice. A brain drain bill. Um, Okay. Improvement costs go down, but your system science goes down as well. The Eureka Act. Ah, why not? Invoke the Eureka Act. More science. Oh, we cannot afford the cost because we only have 53 of these purple nurple influence stars. And we need 500 for that. So we're not doing that. Ah, didn't notice that. Okay. So now, normally, <coughs> I would click an exit button. And it's right. it's hidden right here. It takes a while. Excuse me, hold on. Alright. <clears throat> so, click the exit button. <laughs> I had to cough there. I'll probably edit that out. I still have a bit of a throat ache. But yes, it's, it's sort of hidden. I don't, I don't like that. I really don't like that. Anyway, we were going for economy. There we are. We have trading companies. There's a good, um, there's a good tutorial that pops up. It works. Uh, no, don't click done yet. Mastering the economy screen is the key to making you rich. Well, rich. Okay. Do trade companies. That's a nice little touch. And um, luxury resources. Okay. But we do need to unlock commercial frameworks and unlock neural robotics. Awesome. Now, the science screen is probably the thing that 
surprised me most. If you remember, um, if you've played Endless One, there was this beautiful matrix going four directions, um, where you had this network of science stuff that was interconnected, and you could choose in which direction you wanted to develop next. And it was really, it was you know, you could one screen, you could zoom in and out on what you were doing and what it was worth and what you got for it and where you had to go from one point in that scheme to another to get something. That's sort of gone. I mean, this is all, you know, graphically very beautiful, but it feels, I don't know, there's no real nice UI here. I, I, I have to say, I'm, I'm a. This is probably the the second thing that I'm slightly disappointed in. I'm, uh, I mean, you know, I, I don't spend an awful lot of time in a tech screen, but if I am going to, I would like to have, you know, a bit of more, uh, a, a better visual representation of what I'm about to do. I'm. I feel it's very, um, it may not, may not be finished yet, but it feels very limited right now. Even though you have like three screens full of science, that's all fantastic. But, eh, meh, it doesn't do it for me. And the same goes actually for the ship design thing. It's, it's just, meh, the same sort of, I don't know, I'm, I've tried, you know, editing, uh, for instance, this detector, the blueprint. And uh, it has hard points, and you can figure out what you're gonna do with it. Click it. Uh, there's not really much you can do. You can edit this or make a new one, but really, you get like uh, the basic high one slugs that you can upgrade. It doesn't actually do anything else there. So I had expected more in that department. I'm that could have improved greatly um, in comparison to part one. Still suffering from uh, a slight throat ache. It's almost gone. I'll edit all of these bits out. So in case you were wondering why there was a cut there, or the volume suddenly dropped, that's the reason. Um, okay, so military status, yeah, yeah great, but. Eh. Yeah, I, I do really like the hero screen. That's like, I can see in my hero screen pretty much everything my, my guys do, and I can expect any, anything. Uh, you know, he has a ship. It's like, has, it's a hero ship, so there's extra stuff going on there. Bonus effect, and they have a certain hull type, and that's pretty interesting. I mean, apparently there's going to be more hull types in the game, which is, you know, positive. I like that. And here's his available skill points, right now zero, but you can develop in a certain direction with uh, with the hero, as you would in the original game. So that's pretty nice, and he, oh, well, he gave me a Marvin the Martian look there for a second. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, he's a counselor, and he's now part of the political party of the scientists, which are the party in power, if I recall correctly. So that's nice. And what he costs, and what it costs to uh, move him reassign him that's all you know you can see that in one screen and it's very straightforward it's very simple to follow I like that now there's these mission things what a good idea I, I would actually quote this mission to uh, strengthen that this is a good idea <laughs> having missions to do in this case, I have to take exploration f uh, fleets and orbit around two systems in different constellations. Cool! Sort of an idea mm, that you have to um, plan ahead where you are going and what you're going to do. And then you get a bonus, a, a, um, a so fun free move apparently. I don't know what that actually entails in this case, but cool, you know. It's nice. I like that. And obviously, there is also diplomacy. As there are only five races in the game, um, we only have like um, limited choice of who we can befriend. We have other Sofans here. We have um, somebody from the I don't know Al Al Mahaver or what is or, or, Fadiani. There you are. 
Vodjani people. And they're sort of, yeah, they're, I think they're psychic and they try to uh, read your brain and eat your information and blah. Don't particularly like them, but I li do like their style. It, it's, it's, it gives a, fla a nice flavor. Vodjani. Here we are. So that's cool. You know, that's awesome. I like it. And, and it looks real good too. Look, there we are. And you can see exactly what uh, kind of relationship you have with them. We have near neutral relations with them, and we are we are at cold war with uh, with these Vidyani. So we're at cold war with them. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, move on, shall we? So the universe map. Eh, I guess it's work in progress, but I don't like the the whole uh, let's that bubble wrap things um, feel to it. it uh, eh. It doesn't quite look the way it should yet, in my opinion. I'm, I'm not sure what to make of this. I mean, this is just... Uh, yeah. I guess there's going to be some sort of graphic here that hasn't been done yet. If it stays that way... <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I like it. Let's end the turn and, and see how movement is done. <laughs> they make a little band like this, the, the, the ships. And I've discovered Curious. And apparently I've gone from one science thing, science thing to another because I planned that. You can still plan ahead as you could in uh, in part one. It's kind of nice. And I have to do something new. Construction complete. Got drone networks. We're going to colonize the new tropical planets in our system. And we've explored 20% of the galaxy. Okay, that's not a very big galaxy then. I guess I made a, a small one for this particular playthrough. All right, and there's something green over here. There's somebody else. Somebody else lives here. I guess Cravers, because we have at least two Craver guys around. But yeah, I, it's a, I, it's a bit of a mixed bag for me. I'm I'm gonna keep an eye on this game, if, uh, how it if and how it develops, um, and uh, I will surely be back at a later stage, um, if it's if it's you know. In my good book. And if it's in my good book, I will definitely do a series. Short, long, I don't know yet, but uh, I really like the original, so um, why not? Anyway, I uh, I hope you enjoyed this this short look at the game. We didn't get to see any combat, um, which is kind of difficult. I'm uh, I like the fact that you had pretty action-packed turns within like 10 turns in the original game sometimes with pirates and everything not in this game it's very slow as far as I can tell at least and uh, well so um, maybe some other time in a future video I will be able to show you that thank you all for joining me uh, please leave a comment uh, if, you, if you have any questions or anything you would like to add or remark. I'd love to hear from you. And um, see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. Please consider leaving a like and or comment. And please also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you again. Cheers. <laughs>